Not all heroes wear capes on and off the big screen. Dwayne The Rock Johnson knows that his film San Andreas entertained thousands of moviegoers when it was released in 2015. What he didn't realize until now is the simple fact that it could have saved a two-year-old boy's life. In a new Instagram post Friday evening, Dwayne shined a light on a story in Baltimore that takes Hollywood magic to a new meaning. You know there's a little 10-year-old boy out there and his name is Jacob O'Connor. He's a real-life hero, he explained in a social media video. He couldn't find his little two-year-old brother Dylan so he went out back and found little Dylan lying face down in their pool. Jacob pulled him out, remained calm and started administering CPR and chest compressions and saved his little brother's life. Dwayne continued, he learned how to do this by watching this big, brown tattooed guy in his favorite movie San Andreas. Jacob, I'm so proud of you so much so that I've got to meet you. I've got to shake the hands of a real-life hero. According to Jacob, he remembers an important scene from San Andreas where Dwayne was doing compression to save a life. It later proved to be invaluable. There was an earthquake, then it caused a tsunami and then there was a daughter that was drowning and he had to get her out and he did the same thing, the 10-year-old told ABC2 News. After saving his brother's life, Jacob will hopefully have the opportunity to fly with his family to Vancouver where he will meet the actor on set of his upcoming film Skyscraper. When you come to my sets, it's like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory dude because you can eat all the sweets you want and it's all free, Dwayne teased. Yes, it's free. I'll see you next week buddy. He added, hopefully, your little 2YR old brother, Dylan is well enough to fly because I wanna meet him too. I'll have some very nice people contact your family in the upcoming days to make the arrangements. According to ABC2, Dylan was only in the hospital for a day before heading home. In other words, this story truly has a happy ending.